Hi everybody, this is Andrea Scalisi of Century 21. I'm here at 8805 Shore Parkway. Sorry about the delay. I had some unexpected things happen, but I just wanna show you this beautiful one bedroom co-op. So because it's raining, we're gonna start in the apartment. Um, you have a security, well, you have an intercom system here, which is great. You get an opportunity before you buzz someone in uh, to see, um, see the outdoors. Not all the buildings have this feature. You have a lot of closet space in here when you first come in. This is a renovated unit. This one bedroom cooperative is at 8805 Shore Parkway. It's a second floor unit. It's been renovated. Beautiful cabinetry, quartz countertop. So this is very unique to um, the gardens. A lot of the high rise buildings, I would say 99% of them do not have a window in the kitchen. So this makes it nice and airy. There's always good lighting in this unit. You have a nice breakfast nook here, counter prep space. You can put stools. You do have additional wall space if you wanted to put more cabinetry up there for storage. You have a living dining room combination. So this wall space, this area space right here is about eight by eight for your dining room area. And then you have your living room space is 12 by 17. And what's nice is because this unit is off the corner, um, you're, set, you're in the courtyard, but you're the corner unit. So what's really nice about it, and hopefully it stops raining, is that you get to see everything. You're not all the way set back into the courtyard. And being the corner unit, you have extra windows. So you get really good cross ventilation. The placement of the AC above gives you more wall space below. When you're looking for a home, it's really important to look at stuff like that. So you can think about where your furniture will go, where will your couch go? Where will your dining area go? This is your entrance hole in, as we saw before. This kitchen is seven by nine, again, with a nice big window and the heat. We have another closet here. Your updated bathroom, and there's a window in here. This is something else that's not common to a lot of the buildings, um, especially the buildings with the elevator, is having a window in the bathroom. So again, a lot of good fresh air coming into the apartment, cross ventilation. We have another closet. We have a nice big bedroom here. The bedroom is 16 by 11. And I know that's a little difficult to, to kind of visualize without having furniture in it, but if you do some measurements of where you are now, it'll give you an opportunity to see the differences in size. You have another closet here, and if you notice, you have two windows for cross ventilation. Let's see if anyone, okay, no questions yet. So this is, there's overhead lighting in all the rooms. These buildings in Howard Beach were built back in the 60s and they were built lamplight. So a lot of times you have to put in the overhead lighting. So the overhead lights are done for you. In addition, most buildings require that you put down carpeting. These floors have been soundproofed and they've been approved by the board. This apartment here is 215,000. It's in the Howard Beach Lindawood section. The maintenance 
is under $750 a month, and that's gonna include your heat, your hot water, your cooking gas, your real estate taxes, and your electric. So the base maintenance is $638.87. And then there's the electric is included in, but it does fluctuate. It's about $75 a month. It is a pet friendly building. There are some restrictions, but it is pet friendly. If you have any questions, you can definitely contact me at 718-344-2727. Really great view. Really nice prep space here. If you'd like, you can also text me, 718-344-2727. I can send you over the dimensions of the rooms. I can send you over some more information. If you have any family members, friends that might be interested, we can set up a private appointment. Just take one more look around. So we have four closets. New toilet, new vanity, freshly painted. Great big bedroom, easily will fit a queen or a king size bed. I know, again, a little difficult to see on the camera, but this bedroom is 16 by 11. Many good outlets in here. Heat nicely placed underneath the window, so you have a lot of good wall space to make a decision on where you'd like your bedroom, where you'd like your dresser. When you're thinking about purchasing, you have to look at everything. I wanna thank you all for taking this tour with me. If you have any questions, 718-344-2727. Maybe this is your next home.